You've got three possible targets all in a very unstable atmosphere. A is the weakest thunderstorm only 50 miles away and headed your general direction. B is a delicious supercell about to go tornado warned, currently 80 miles away and moving perpendicular to you. C is the largest storm 130 miles away and moving away from you into the outer bands of the Kuiper Belt. Which storm would you go after? I chose A because it's the closest, it's isolation, and I'm confident it will strengthen. And upon arrival, it had already matured into a glorious supercell, dropping a horseshoe-shaped mesocyclone. A weak, dusty tornado is whirling up under a churning base as the storm is ramping up in intensity. The locals know the worst is yet to come and run for cover. Yep, get under that tree. We are now being overtaken by the mesocyclone, the most dangerous and unpredictable area you could possibly be in. Strong rotation is wrapping curtains of rain, hail, and wind in a circle around you. The door of the bear's cage is about to slam shut, and there's only one road. What would you do? A. Blast northwest through the wall of reported baseball-sized hail. B. Escape southeast safely in front of the surging storm. Or C. Roll the dice and hang out just a little longer to see if the bear wakes up. We got a tornado right next to us. Look at this. Next you come across a black snake stretched across the road. Do you A. Drive around it, B. Skid on its head to rid the planet of Satan's helpers, or C. Pick it up and usher it across the road to make sure it doesn't get run over by the next car. Our once tornadic supercell has been on a weakening trend and there's a much larger storm approaching to our west. Do we A. Abort this storm and meet the larger one? You already know the answer. Well, tornado warning storm about to pass right over the city. 625. Major circulation going right over town. After an hour or so of terrorizing Stevensville, Texas, our current storm seems to be winding down while a new storm is rapidly intensifying to the southwest. And in little time we're approaching another supercell with a well-defined corkscrew updraft. Fancy. This storm seems uninterested in dropping tornadoes or vivid lightning. The daylight is vanishing fast. You are beyond exhausted from days of chasing and between you and a warm bed is a little purple spot on radar. Do you A. Wait for the purple to completely move out of your path before proceeding? Or B. Drive on like a horse headed back to the stables? If you chose B, you are now probably out four car windows, you smell like mildew, and your insurance company is threatening to drop you. The purple spot has increased in size, but it has almost moved completely out of our path. As we proceed, larger and larger chunks of ice begin to appear in the road. Look at those hailstones. Look at that. Look at that sucker. Look at that. Jeez. That's ridiculous. They're everywhere.
Ooh, man, mean batch of storms today. Did you see those hailstones? Can you imagine how strong the winds must be shooting up into a thunderstorm to sustain ice bombs that big? Glad I wasn't there when they were falling down. We got two more tornadoes. That's five for the year. That's not bad for April. April is just kind of the warm-up round for Mother Nature. She's going to be pissed off here in May, so... Here we go. To celebrate, today I had Honey Nut Cheerios, and for dessert, we had Cocoa Krispies. And, as if that wasn't good enough, tomorrow morning, if I get up before 10.30, I get all the cornflakes that I can eat for free. <laughs> Life is good.